Hi guys, Luton here. Now, it would be the most obvious statement you could make to say that mods extend a game's lifespan. They also often help to connect and consolidate a player base by bringing them together. Community created content, however, while not really a mod in the strictest sense, can also help to extend and foster a constructive community. Far Cry 5 is seeking to do just that, and it's looking extremely positive with the announcement of its arcade. Players of Far Cry 5 will have the ability to access a vast collection of assets and a building system for you to create and post your own map designs and presumably your own missions for fellow Far Cry 5 players. Being either single, co-op or multiplayer, the vision of post-release community created content has huge benefits for the game and its developers. They get a free pool of content for the player base to engage with, plus a fantastic amount of engagement potential at release. And it leads me to something I've thought about often when it comes to multiplayer FPS, that is the role of a game master. Now Armour 3 introduced game mastering through its Zeus update way back when, soon after the release of the game. But since then the popularity and scope for a game master in Armour has soared and has shown just how much longevity and power it gives to the game. It's my belief that game mastering is an immensely powerful system and tool for any game to gift its player base. Now, Armour 4, when it arrives, needs to invest heavily in the Zeus concept and extensively expand its features to capitalise on what is one of the strongest concepts for any FPS, any tactical simulation, to have the ability to live curate objectives, to bring elements in live and to create custom scenarios for people to play. Far Cry 5 doesn't quite go that far, it gives essentially a mission editor for people to create content, still a big step in the right direction. A cause I have been and want to continue to champion is encouraging developers to consider expanding the options for spectators in FPS games. And this could be something like in Squad, Postscriptum, Hell Let Loose, but it easily could apply to almost any multiplayer game. Allowing an admin of a server to control certain events to maybe designate special benefits for players or hand down punishments for errors to bring in support, change objective locations, run scripted events, the list goes on and on. The days of just simply setting up a server with predefined conditions needs to go away. We need to extend to allowing a spectating admin to continue live adaptation. If Battlefield and EA DICE had the conviction to do something along these lines, it could bring an amazing new amount of life into that genre as well. Community map making, modding and game mastering surely need to be the future for FPS or even any multiplayer game. Imagine if the ever stale survival game genre implemented a strong game mastering system. It would give players a whole new sense of purpose and bring them together for combat and objectives. It extends the gameplay and community potential of any game exponentially. Imagine in DayZ if you could write and create narratives, have people play them out, bring in different objectives, bring in vehicles, bring in maybe AI units, all sorts of different things. You could extend it way beyond what it started out with. So tell me your thoughts about Far Cry 5's community building announcement and the future of Armour 4 Zeus Game Mastering. What game would you like to be able to game master in? What tools would you want to be available? If you enjoyed this video guys, please hit the like. It helps me and it helps the channel. If you want to support me further, look at the links down below for my Patreon and Twitter. I'll see you next time.